Um, so we're going to get started. I'm going to keep everything timed on my phone here. So we're starting a mountain climbers and then a minute of uh, push up to planks on the truck. So let's get started. Okay, so kind of easiest way here is just keep your hands on the top step. So this is a warm up. So if this feels good, you can go as fast as you want to. If you wanted to make it a little harder, you could do it on the ground if you've got a mat. So you got 30 more seconds. In the last 30 seconds, I'm going to show you on the ground real quick. Okay, 10 more seconds, and then we're going back up on the step. Okay, back up on here. I'm gonna go right here next to the step, and you just kind of have your feet out. And we're in a, like what we would start out in, in a push-up position, but you're going down on your forearms, and then one hand at a time, push back up. So as you're doing this, you should feel your core come um, braced like someone is going to punch you and then try to keep your hips um, pretty level instead of like waist swayed like that if you have it all if you have your back swayed um, that's going to be hard on your lower back okay 20 more seconds and then we've got a minute of toe touches Keep going, 10 more seconds. If you want to do it easier, you can have a little bit more of an, uh, less of an incline. Okay, toe touches. So that's just kind of, actually let's do um, RDLs first. So we're pushing our hips back and we're stretching out our hamstrings. So as you're pushing your hips back, keep a flat back. Bend your knees as you need to. And we're just getting those hamstrings warmed up for the rest of the, the rest of the workout. Okay, you got about 20 more seconds. And then we're going to go into a minute of toe touches. Almost done here. Okay, toe touches. So you're bending down. Try to get as far down as you can. Um, you can get your shoulders warmed up by going up at the top. If it doesn't feel good to go all the way down, then just kind of, you know, let your arms hang and let stretch out the back of those legs. Kind of stretching out your calves a little bit. Those are probably tight as well as your hamstrings because you're just sitting most of the time and pushing on the pedals makes everything tight. Okay, got about 20 more seconds and we're going to be moving into a walk around the truck after this. And if this doesn't feel good, if it doesn't feel good to go all the way down, you can do a torso rotation. Um, still kind of getting those hamstrings in, but just moving around. Okay, let's do our two minutes around the truck. This is our first active rest, and then we'll go through a little series of exercises and then do another active rest, and then we'll stretch out. If it feels good to go faster and jog, then great, you can do that.
Good job, guys. And if you don't want to walk around your truck and trailer, because um, it can be busy, whatever, we can just do a march in place. That's always an option. So I'll do that. And then we're moving into um, explosive push-ups on the truck. Okay, 20 more seconds. And whenever we're doing these next, the next step, the push-ups, um, just like the mountain climbers, if you wanna be a little bit higher up to make it a little bit easier, do that. If you wanna be a little bit lower to make it a little harder, then go ahead and do that. Okay, here we go. Ready for those. So you're just let your belly sag down, keep it up. And we just kind of push off fast. This one should definitely get your heart rate going. Okay, 30 more seconds. Good job. Um, let's see. After this, we're going into a shoulder exercise. Okay, 10 more seconds, keep that up. Almost done. Okay, so I'm going to come right here um, on this side of the truck. If your trailer is flat, you can do it wherever. So you're just getting your shoulder blades flat on the side and then sliding up. You want to try to keep your shoulder blades flat. We're just working on some mobility here and bringing awareness to the muscles that are. Because most of the time, if you, you're driving, your shoulders are probably a little bit hunched over. Um, kind of the correct place they should be. So this is just bringing them back in. Okay, almost done with that one. And let's see what we're moving on to next. Arm circles, okay, awesome. So this one, I'm gonna start with going forward. And you can do however fast or slow you need to, whatever feels good. If your shoulders feel kind of sticky, if there's spots that don't feel great, um, I would go a little slower than there. So I'm gonna do about 20 seconds this way, and then I'm gonna do about 20 seconds back. And I'm kind of doing little circles, and then the last, the last little set there, I'll do big circles. Okay, let's switch it to big circles forward. And this is our second to last exercise. We've just got one more. It's gonna be working on our legs. Okay, so five more seconds of big circles back. Awesome. Let's move to step ups. So, no. Um, we're gonna be doing about a third, so a minute total, but you can definitely hold on if you need to and just step I'm going to alternate my feet a little bit. If it makes more sense to do 30 seconds on one foot and then 30 seconds on the next, just do that. Okay, we're about 30 seconds through. Okay. 
and if it doesn't feel good to go all the way up, um, you can always do kind of like toe taps. You don't have to have that support there if you do it that way. Okay, five more seconds, and then we're doing a walk around the truck to cool down. Okay, so two minutes walking around the truck. Or that is the end of your workout today. Goodbye, guys.